is up fam, Hodis Message finds you all well in good spirits. Well, we have the new elite photos of the interior of the all new S650 Mustang. We're gonna talk about it, we're gonna jump in Thanos, take a drive. It's time, it's coming. The new interior is here, let's go. All right, before we get into the interior of the S650, which you're about to see, I want you to take a good look at the outgoing S550. It has the kind of retro design, still elements are there, but this new interior, which we'll probably put across from it, modern, more driver centric, gone under toggles. It's, it's gonna be very high end, European, Asian feel to it. Um, so this is gonna be a breakdown of what we see. And of course we were supposed to drag race. <laughs> We were supposed to drag race Thanos this weekend, but weather didn't cooperate. So we'll talk about the new S650 interior. And guys, giveaway number 13, the Bullet Mustang is live. Go to onthexplan.com, grab some merch. This can be your car. Plus we got mods coming to this. So stay tuned. We got exhaust coming from AWE. Lowering springs, all that good stuff is coming. I'm out of breath because I'm so excited. But anyways, let's jump in. To Thanos, talk about the new S650. Let's go. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We have brand new leaked real S650 new Mustang interior shots bought to us by our friends at Mustang 7G by the man himself user Jar Stang. This is official, this is real stuff, this is happening. Let's first talk about what we see. What first and foremost is really exciting is we're looking at, we are looking at a new modern interior that's no longer gonna have the retro look. It's gonna have a very driver-centric, kind of pointed a little bit at the driver's uh, setup. Flat bottom steering wheel, we have the now no longer circle air vents are down in the center of the dash. We have two, it looks like two infotainment system setups here. As you can zoom in and see, um, looks very similar to what was in the uh, new generation Bronco as well as the F-150 uh, digital dashes. So those are gonna be brought over to the Mustang. Also, you can see this is an automatic setup. There was an article that came out and I can't substantiate it, but. We sadly may be losing the stick shift Mustang. The S650 may or may not be getting, I'm gonna, I'm going to say it may not be getting a stick shift option. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, we'll talk about more about that, but what's more exciting is this is probably one of the best, most high resolution images you're going to see of the new S650 Mustang. And I love it, it looks great. Uh, again, we talked about flat bottom steering wheel, modern design, it has a very much almost European and almost Asian inspired like high-end um, Genesis or Hyundai look to it. No more toggle switches, they're gone. Um, it does have different features with the buttons, but very driver centric. This is supposed to, of course, it's still has, uh, some heavy camo in it, but this, this, this is it. We're looking at the interior of the new Mustang, here it is for you. I'm also reading that we could be getting actual color option changes. Uh, blue and red and gray and white and all these different variations of colors with the interior, which would be amazing, not just black like this. Uh, very similar to the C8, stitching colors, things of that nature. So it's gonna be very vast, very exciting, very modern, very, very new age, new, new age tech. Um, so this is new. This is gonna be the interior that we haven't seen this look for quite some time. Uh, the Again, the double brow look is gone. Uh, we shall see. I'm a big fan of the flat bottom steering wheel. What I'm not a fan of is it looks a hair, a hair dated. What I mean by that is, even though it's a new kind of modern look, it still looks a little bit tired to me, but I could be overreacting because it's not it's not all revealed in its glory with high end resolution pictures and colors. I, I'm hoping that when we get the color options where we add in uh, some red, some color stitching, things of that nature will look really good. Um, of, of course, you're seeing the same lever, the same automatic levers there. We might be getting a knob like that's in the 500 here. Uh, but I, I, you know, we're getting close. Also, 
not to toot my own horn, but you know, basically we got substantiated what we've been saying for a while because there was apparently a Ford, um, a Ford Authority said uh, that it is substantiated that the Mustang will be coming out to next year at a 2024 model. So we're gonna see all that. I'll put all links down below. Tell me what you guys think about this new interior of the Mustang. Let me show you mine real quick. Um, and, you know, we are set up for, uh, see here's, we are set up for drag racing because I took the seat out. But you know, this, this obviously is aftermarket here, but this is all gonna be gone. They're gonna get something more kind of coming at you with the, with the driver. This is gonna, obviously this is aftermarket, but this is like a flat bottom. I believe we're probably gonna knob in the new one, but it's gonna be more modern. Again, these toggles are gone. We're gonna have no longer these circular uh, air vents are gonna be square. I will, I believe that we're gonna be seeing the official reveal in the summertime of Detroit Auto Show. So that remains to be seen, but maybe I can zoom out, you guys can see, and we'll put it side by side, the pictures of the old with the new. So this is super exciting. What I'm gonna do is I'm headed to the New York International Auto Show here this week. So I'll be touching base with the Ford uh, powers that be and be like, yo, tell me everything, confirm everything, because we want to know what's going on with our beloved new S650 Mustang. But I'm I'm happy to share this picture with you. Let me know what you think, comment below. We're going to continue to bring you the best coverage we can on the new Mustang. We're going to be ordering one, bringing it to the channel. Um, and just to reiterate what we know so far, if you're new to the channel or you're just catching up or want to reiterate, number one, we know the Mustang is coming out around this time next year as a 2024 Mustang model. There's going to be the EcoBoost staying, the 5.0 is staying, and we're going to get a hybrid motor version, possibly V8 hybrid or V6 hybrid. All wheel drive is 6040, yes, that could be coming, and we are definitely getting an EV coupe version. That's what I know so far, uh, to the best of what I've done due diligence on and research and read and bothered people with, and we'll continue to bring that coverage. I'm excited, I'm ready for something new here. Let's see what this comes about. Uh, it's gonna be pretty, it's pretty cool to, uh, you know, regardless if you don't like it or not, a new Mustang interior is pretty cool. So, and you know the aftermarket guys are already looking at stuff they can do. So anyways, comment below, let me know what you think new s650 link description for mustang 7g for more from the article let's go the time is now the new s for the mustang is here all right you guys also to end this video please just some housekeeping we have some good news coming up we will be announcing the winner of the mach 1 here after easter thereafter this week coming up we have our winner of the 350 coming in to take uh, his shelby 350 and yes the bullet mustang is live Go to on3supply.com, grab some merch. You can be winner number 13, guys. Check it out. Support the channel. Grab some merch. We got all types of good stuff coming in. Because you know, it never ends. Peace. All right, just a little bit of housekeeping with Thanos build. We're back. Everything's fixed. Everything's happy. Under warranty. We got a new trans cooler. We have our bead locks borrowed from Dalton. But unfortunately... The drag strips were closed because of the weather, but we'll get back at it soon here. Super excited to bring you some more racing content with this beautiful build. So excited. We'll leave you maybe with a couple little baby pulls here. But man, I, I'm feeling good. Feeling real good, man. I got so much more to talk about with this, because you know. <laughs>